Welcome to this session on creating additional typical floors. So let's look at a scenario where we have this three-story office building and perhaps our client has decided he'd like to add two more floors to the building. And they will just essentially be the same as our office floor two, right? He just wants to go up two more floors. So it's, it's what we would call a typical floor. Well, there's no need to model that geometry again. We've already modeled it once, and if it were to change, we don't want to have to go to multiple places to make changes to it. And so what we're going to do here is just add additional references of the same floor. So for this, I'm going to actually open up my references dialog. And we see here those references that we brought in, the lobby, office one, office two, and the roof. So we're going to start by moving the roof up. and so. I'm going to change the Z elevation of the roof here to 28 feet. Now, if this was a permanent change, if this was a solution that you were definitely going to use, you'd probably actually go to that, that working model and move the entire model up. But right now we're just looking at a, a perhaps a design alternative. So we're going to set that to 28 feet or, or um, 8,400 millimeters. And so we, we see immediately how our roof gets moved up in the model. And then we're going to select this Office 2 floor, and we're going to copy the reference, right? We're not actually copying the geometry, we're copying the reference attachment. And there's tools up here, so we're going to use this one, Copy Reference. So I'm going to select that. Now we can actually fill in the dialog here how many copies we need to make. So we just, we're going to do two here. And then if we watch our prompts in the lower left, we need to enter a point to copy from, and then of course, a distance. So again, I can just select any point in space, and then I'm gonna rotate my AccuDraw compass to front orientation with the F key. I'm gonna use Enter to lock my axis, and then I can type in my distance, which is our floor to floor height of 14 feet and then a left click to accept that, and then a right click to reset. And now we have three floors rather than, than just this one. So we have a total of a five-story building. I'll go ahead and close the reference dialog. And then as we go in and modify that working model, so if I were to come here and add windows, for instance, they would end up showing on every floor, right? Even though I only had to do it in one working model. And of course, if we were to determine that was a permanent change that we were going to make to our model, we would want to open up that floor manager and actually add those additional floors into the floor manager. So we'd want to come here to, to floor two and insert another floor or two more floors. Okay, so that completes the course on interior floors. And in the next course, we'll look at actually creating drawings and schedules from our building model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.